positives that we heard here, which is that there are, I think we're committed to spending money to make things better in, in Washington and finding a, a collaborative way to, to, to do that. Um, and I, I look forward to our own next step and I don't, and, and I, and I do think, I do think that we, we gained a lot from what we had for the, and I do not think that the, and I'll stand by this till the end, the one, the one year that we, that we did do was not a mistake. I think we got, we got a lot from that, but that's ultimately after, after these three and a half hours, I, I can't tell people tomorrow morning that I was 85% or more on board tonight. More than 50, but that's that's not enough for this big of a commitment. Just um, for clarity's purposes, so we're talking about um, an investment of about $200,000. Um, in terms of just getting clarity from the board, um, is the expectation Rhonda's model that we give the dollars to each of the schools? Is it Christina's model that says we're still investing in the school? I think one of my real concerns now is, is as we move forward um, without a plan, um, I think what is really unsettling now is to figure out in mid-July what that plan would be. I think more importantly though, I think is that to recognize that many of our schools have additional resources dollars coming into the schools and Washington does not. Our middle schools don't receive title dollars. So this investment, I mean the investment that was to be made is, is for teachers, for professional learning for teachers. And I think that the piece around it is that if, if it's not here, if we're talking about professional development, there's the social emotional learning piece that we're working on collectively. There's the investment of the individuals that we talked about. And so then the question is, what is the expectation of the board moving forward so that I have a team of people who've been working very hard um, to be able to deliver. I have a principal who is counting on this resource um, or at least asking for the resource. The question is, I'm not sure she's counting on it. What is the expectation now from the Board of Education moving forward so that we have a very clear direction in this vote, what this vote really means, because I'm not sure I'm clear anymore what the vote means. So I just put that out there. Christina? Michelle, I think we have a very clear plan. AIR is a piece of a much larger plan for Washington, for Franklin, and our school district. So when you said we don't have a plan, I actually respectfully disagree with you because I think the plan speaks to the work of you got what you have done, Champs and Mike Freeze and the support systems and the behavior coach and all of that really great stuff. That's fabulous. We need, to, we need to be committed to that, in my opinion. We should move forward with that. And we should look at, in my opinion, the resources and the, and the, the services that AIR was going to provide. And if, if it doesn't pass, then say, okay, what of that do we still need? How do we connect with resource, how do, what do, how do we provide those, right? And then what are some other opportunities if we go back to the staff and survey them and say, is there something else we could be providing you beyond the services of AIR and how do we do that with our community? So I don't, I think it's a really critical question and I'm glad you asked it. I, I think we would have to, to have a decision and we would need to have a much longer you know, discussion on that, but I'm appreciative that you brought that up. Thank you, and I, I appreciate the plan. I, I'm talking about the, the impact and building capacity in mm -hmm. teachers for, for English language arts and math as well. And the question then becomes, is the board um, giving the staff the, and the team the authority then to go out and look for other resources to provide that gap um, in service and support that is needed, or is the expectation to do more social emotional and focus all the dollars there and, and not address the academic components. I, I'm just trying to gain clarity around that right now because I think, I think tomorrow morning we're gonna have to have some conversations with Washington. That's all, I put that there. 
I hope that moving forward, we actually really get into talking to staff. We talk to the monitors. We talk to the SLAs, student learning advocates. We talk to the, the, the teachers, um, the librarians, all of the people that are really living the decisions that we make. I hope they're part of how to spend this money, how to move forward. I really hope they are. Else? Go ahead. I just I just want this clarity again. So tomorrow morning, if this were not to pass, does the team have the ability to go look for other resources to invest in math and reading, mm -hmm. or is it one of those where we go to staff and say how do you want to spend it? That's really what I'm asking. My concern with going to the staff as to how you want to spend it is you get 50 different opinions as to how it should be spent. And, you know, I think we've invested in, a, in a, uh, an organization that has a track record of turning around schools. Um, it feels very last minute to, to just bail on a plan um, that, uh, again, that a principal who we've all agreed is but many have agreed that it is, a, um, is an excellent leader, and she's looking at what Ira brings to her as a very important tool moving forward. Not the only tool, and we certainly, and we talked about all the other investments um, regarding behavior in there, but um, um, I mean, I still am concerned if we don't move this forward because now you're asking a piecemeal approach to addressing uh, uh, math and, and ELA instructional support in that school um, when that's gonna cost us money. It's not gonna be free. Um, mm -hmm. when, we have, when we have an organization that has done this before and, um, and again, has, has that mm -hmm. positive track mm -hmm. record. Um, and I, I just feel as if we're, we're um, uh, letting the school down um, by our last minute pull out of a plan that they've been working on for for a year. Um, to Andrew's point, it's the final year, um, and it, I just uh, um, I, I uh, so I'm not able to give you guidance because my um, my position is still to move forward with the year. And I would argue that um, I think not heard from teachers, and I do value your voice that there would be much more movement with the culture and climate of the building being balanced and being um, tended to in a much more significant way. I think um, from what I've been told from all, a lot of teachers and staff is that until we actually get, a, get control of, over that and we, we take care of a lot of the challenges in that area, you can do all the professional development you want but that is not addressed the way it needs to be. We're wasting our money. So, so are you okay with spending two hundred and sixteen thousand dollars at Washington for mental health and behavior? That's actually not what I said. I've been consistent when I've been talking tonight about making sure that the schools that are coming into we have plans already. We all we established that tonight um, with regards to um, some services coming into Washington, um, which I'm very encouraged to hear. I'm I'm very happy about that. I consistently talk about the schools that are feeding into Washington Middle School and that that is where we should be spending the money. When I look at the, the information that I receive for expulsion hearings and I look at the behaviors and, they, and how these kids basically get set up into failure by the time they get to middle school, it's happening all in the elementary schools. I will never steer away from that. I will absolutely, hands down, always fight for that. Eric. Um, I, I think that uh, I think that we we've um, invested a great deal in Washington. I think we have a great plan going forward. That, that again, I. I, I believe that the work of our staff has just as much, if not 
more to do with the, the success and turnaround at Washington. John, I appreciate you saying that back to 2014, you know, we've done something similar to this before, but where you're wrong is we've never had you, we've never had Judy Wiegand, we've never had Cindy Olson, um, and, and we're better than we were in 2014, I believe. We know more about trauma, we've trained our entire district, um, and I also feel that, uh, you know, with respect to the, the conversations around the, the negative atmosphere and the negative talk in the community, we need to get past that. And ultimately what made that, what made my decision tonight is that I believe that continuing to contract with AIR keeps that negative vibe in the community. And that, again, it wasn't easy, but to me that, that's what, what I see is that contracting with AIR when we talk about a plan, Washington never knew that, you know, that we never talked about this as a year or two, so this was never a part of the plan. Um, I understand and I, I do respect Cindy Olson's opinion and, and that, that resonates a lot with me, but I look at what we have in place. I, I, we're increasing in other areas that we haven't um, done this past year. And um, if you came forward with with another recommendation to provide services that, that was informed by uh, the, the voices of, of, and, and across the district, I, I'd be willing to listen to that. And I understand that that sounds counterintuitive and I apologize and I, I, I can imagine what it's gonna be like to come to work tomorrow and to feel like, but I don't want you to feel like you're starting over. I, I want you to get the message that, um, that that me personally, I guess, talking for myself, believe in you and support you. And um, I look forward to helping out however I can um, to, to be a part of the turnaround process. Um, and I just I just can't get behind the, that contract. So I don't know if that provides any more clarity. Um, that's where I'm at and where I'm coming from. And uh, um, we'll, we'll, we'll willing to listen to conversations around what we can do to continue to help all schools in our district because I think we've, we've got a good plan to, to help out Washington next year.